Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Grace, and today we're going to do another drinking with Dustin. I know, Dustin, this is a video game channel. Why all the beer? Um, I've actually been kind of in between games. I've, I've been kind of messing around with a few games. Nothing's really sticking. Uh, replaying Bioshock Infinite, but uh, I've already done my video on Infinite, so I don't really feel like doing another one because it's kind of repeating myself. Um, working on the demo for um, Etrian Odyssey Millennium Girl, and I do plan on doing an impressions of the demo, but the game's coming out um, here in like a week, so I might just wait until I finish the game uh, to do a proper game discussion on it. But uh, yeah, anyway, just kind of in between games, so not a lot of game talk uh, here lately. But anyway, that is not what this video is about. Uh, today we'll be drinking the Emilice Imperial Russian Stout, um, brought to us by... Yeah, I can't, I can't pronounce that Netherlands stuff. Hopefully Arrow watches this video, I don't know. Um, but this is brewed at 11% alcohol, and as you can see, it was $5 for a, just a regular size bottle. So, uh, when you get into these Imperial Russian Stouts, sometimes uh, the price can start to set you back, because this is one of the sort of premier beers out there, and I know like a lot of my friends who really like beer, we always will sit around and talk about our favorite beer style, and the Russian Imperial Stout is it. Uh, this single bottle, however, does come with a uh, little story. So let's go ahead and read that. And it's really tiny print, so you're going to see me really struggling to read this. Uh, the Emilice Imperial Russian Stout is a uniquely crafted take on the style and is matured on oak for two months. Pitch black, robust, and richly complex, this, this exceptional ale is intended to be savored and consumed carefully. Well, that sounds dangerous. So anyway, let's go ahead and break out the North Market uh, Columbus Brewfest, Micro Brewfest cup. Unfortunately, I missed that this year. Um, a friend of mine and I had intentions on going, and then we just didn't. So <laughs> hopefully next year I will make it back up there because it is a fun event up in Columbus, Ohio. And yes, pitch black is the color, and that's what I love. Because when you get a normal stout, you hold it up to the light, um, a normal stout like a Guinness will turn red to, to the light, but this this bad boy is just dark, pitch black. Anyway, hmm, you get a nice roasted um, malt, but there's also a hint of sweetness to it, and a lot of times with these imperial stouts. Uh, I find if they are aged a certain amount, they actually start to taste kind of like blueberries a little bit, at least to my taste buds. They might taste like something completely different to you. But I always love that about these, that, that blueberry sort of flavor. So let's go ahead and give this a hit. That is, mm, that is really good. Um, almost, almost as good as Old Rasputin, but not quite. Wow. Imported by 12% in Brooklyn, New York. So, um, I don't know the availability of this. I would say any... Um, sort of liquor store worth their grain of salt uh, would carry this. You know, I don't know if they'd have six packs or twelve or four packs or whatever. You might have to buy it just as an individual bottle. But definitely seek this out. Um, very big roasted hit. And that's what I love about these Imperial Stouts is when it first hits your mouth, you're like, it's kind of got a dry... Like the taste almost... It almost feels like it's going to absorb all the moisture out of your mouth, but that's not the case. But it has that really big roasted malt hit. But it's not like Old Rasputin where it kicks your head back the first sip. Um, this actually reminds me a lot of, um, actually I have the growler here, it's seen better days, but Weasel Boy, um, our local brew pub here in Zanesville, um, they do, uh, they actually have some on in barrels right now, getting ready for the October release of their Anastasia Imperial Russian Stout, which I've already uh, done a drinking with Dustin on. 
and actually won a gold medal, I believe a gold medal, at um, the Great American Brew Fest in uh, Colorado. So um, it reminds me a lot of that. And it has that sort of sweet note at the end, which, which makes me think that if this was sort of aged for a year, it would have that wonderful sort of, <sighs> make me burp, that wonderful sort of blueberry hit. That this style, that is good. That is really good. It's no old Rasputin, though. But um, it is mit some. God, that's got a really good aftertaste, too. <clears throat> I should go get some old Rasputin sometime and just go buy this and old Rasputin, just drink them back to back and make sure, because this is really, really friggin' good. Yeah. Imperial Russian Stouts, man. Tis the season. It's getting there. It's almost there. Winter time. I'll probably be drinking nothing but that because um, I love that style. But anyway, yeah, this is the bottle again. Uh, the Emilice, or uh, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that horribly because I can't pronounce Dutch that that well. But that's what the bottle looks like, and I would say without a doubt. Um, pick this up if you're a fan of the style because this is delish and uh, I wish I would have bought more but hey there's still more on the shelf back at the store so if I want another one there we go however for twice the price I can get a four pack of Old Rasputin so I will probably go with that because I love me some Old Rasputin um, but anyway yeah that's uh, that's sort of the Emilice Imperial Russian Stout um, like I said this is rapidly, I mean, like, really becoming my favorite style of beer. Um, I love stouts, but specifically the subgenre of um, Imperial Russian stouts are my favorite. So if uh, you guys have tried some out there and uh, know of some that I should be on the lookout for, uh, I love trying new things. So definitely leave that in the comments and uh, definitely check this out because it is totally worthwhile. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I promise video game stuff is coming. I'll see you next time.